Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com and this is episode 41 of Learn Lightroom 5. And in this episode, I'm going to show you how to add a sun flare to your images. And you're going to be surprised how easy this is to do. Before I show you though, if you guys could do me a favor and subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'd really appreciate it. Also, head over to my website, AnthonyMorganti.com. I have all kinds of information over there on photography. Okay, uh, you may remember last episode I mentioned I was running out of ideas for videos for Lightroom and I asked if anyone had any suggestions to email me. And within a few days I received three requests to do this video. And it's really relatively, as I mentioned, easy to add a sun flare. And it's co commonly done in lifestyle images and wedding images and it's real popular in uh, today's photography. Um, one thing you got to remember though, or you have to take note, is you need the right type of shot to add it or it won't look natural. Um, specifically, you need the right type of light. For example, in this shot here, you can see these folks are front lit. We don't see the shadows. The shadows are behind them. So the, that means the sun is behind the photographer. And if you add a uh, sun flare to this, it just won't look right because you add the sun flare to the corners or to the sides and it, it won't look natural because there's no shadow from uh, the, you know, at, at the opposite end. So if we're adding a uh, sun flare over here, we don't see any shadow over here. So it doesn't look right. So make sure you have the right type of shot. And that's going to be with the light coming into the scene from one of the sides or from one of the top corners. Um, if it's coming, if this was um, backlit, so the sun was back here, you really don't need to add a, a sun flare because it's already there. All right, so you need the right type of shot. So this shot's no good. Now this one's better. We, um, it's late in the day. Obviously, it kind of looks like it's probably, uh, you know, getting towards dusk. And but we do have light coming in from the side here. So these people are definitely uh, side lit, although they're kind of facing the light physically but you get the idea the lights coming in from the side so this is perfect we could add a sun flare to this shot now one thing is you could see this is a, a developed shot already so what you do is you go and you develop your images like you always do to this point like you're done now you're gonna the last thing you will do will be to add the sun flare now a lot of people use the brush to add a sun flare. I don't. I use the radial filter and it's a lot faster and easier. So the radial filter is the second last tool up here. And just click on it, it opens. We're going to reset the sliders. So double click on effect. That resets the sliders. You also could hold your alt or option key in and you can see that turns into reset. And you could uh, reset it that way. Now the first thing you're going to do is just turn exposure up. Don't worry about how high, just turn it up. We could readjust it later. Now I mentioned that the light is coming in from the left, so we're going to put our sun flare from that side. And we're just going to make this huge circle like that. Now you can see as I did it, it's backwards. Uh, the middle's dark and this is light out here, so it's backwards. You always have to click Invert Mask. So click Invert Mask and you can see we have this bright now. Now it's a little too bright so I mentioned don't worry about it we could turn it down. So we'll turn it down. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to warm it up. So we'll go up to temperature. We're still in the tool so we're gonna go to temperature and we're gonna bring the temperature up and this is to your personal taste and it's gonna be different on every shot. So I'm gonna bring it up in this case around 30 and sometimes you want to bring tint down just a little. Now you don't want to go too far with tint going down. If you go down too far it's going to get really green looking and we don't want it to be green looking. Now as you can see I added um, this kind of uh, glowing, it's a, it's a subtle effect, a sun flare coming in from the left. Um, this is where we started and that's where we are now. Now one thing I want to note is you notice when I hover over here, I covered this in the last episode of Learn Lightroom 5, you could see I have uh, the you could see the mask of where I um, drew the radial filter. If you're not seeing that, look down here at this bar here. Now if you don't have this bar here, hit T. You can see it's not there. Hit T again. There it is. This bar right here, you can see it says show edit pins. I have it on auto. And what that means is when I hover over the picture, they're there. And when I come off the picture, they go away. And I like that so I could get a look at the picture without any overlay on there at all. If you're not seeing it, you probably have it on never. 
and so you'll never see those um, those edit pins so put it on auto in this way you could move things around you could grab uh, your radio filter and move it a little bit readjust it you could grab one of these handles and move things out or in um, so I kinda like it the way it is there now we could mess with feathering and what feathering is is how soft it gets towards the edges because it's kind of a gradient it gets it's more intense in the middle and gets softer as it goes out towards the ends so we're gonna pull uh, just to show you I'm gonna pull the feather all the way off and you can see with no feathering that's what it looks like so you could kind of you know to your liking just kind of feather it like that and um, I kinda like that now I warmed up the radio filter so this is warm the rest of the picture is still kinda cool so I'm gonna close the radio filter now and I'm gonna go to my basic tab and I'm just gonna warm up the entire photo now so I'm gonna go to temp and I'm just gonna bring that up a little bit just a little I think that's that might be even a little too intense just a little bit maybe like that so now we have this kind of uh, very subtle sun flare in this shot going from left to right. Now we'll go to this shot. And this is another one. It's a good candidate. We have uh, side lighting. So we're going to have a sun flare on this side coming into the shot. So again, I'm just going to open up the radio filter. I'm going to double click on effect to reset the sliders, although I really didn't have to do that. But in this case, because all I had was exposure up. So I'm going to turn exposure up again and then I'm gonna start over here in this kinda of corner somewhere and I'm just gonna draw out my big old radio filter to about there and I'm going to click the invert checkbox now I'm gonna bring the exposure down a little bit because it was a little bit too bright now I'm gonna warm it up so I'm gonna go to the temp control and I'm gonna move that to the right and remember it's per personal taste and every shot's gonna be a little different and I'm gonna bring tint down just a touch so I have this warmed up now. I kind of like the feathering w where it is, but I'll mess around a little bit and see where it is. See if I go too far, it gets a little too intense. So right around there is nice. And um, the net other thing you could do, you, there are some other uh, you know, sliders here for the radio filter. And what I like to do sometimes is I like to pull clarity down. And kind of, as you can see, especially in this bush here, as I pull clarity down, it kind of fuzzes that out and it kind of fuzzes the side of her face out and, and as I mentioned it's a gradient so it's more intense here and gets less intense as you get towards their faces so the clarity kind of comes down a little bit and it's kind of a softening effect that gets uh, lesser as it moves out um, you could also mess with saturation you know experiment um, if you don't like a setting just double click on a slider and it will go back to where it was okay so we're gonna I'm gonna just put clarity down a little bit I'm gonna close that I'm gonna go to my basic panel and I'm just gonna warm the entire picture again just a little bit not too much just a tiny bit right around there maybe now you could go back now if I it seems a little too intense here I'll go back to the to the um, I'll go back to the radial um, filter and uh, to make it active I have to click on that button so that is it is active again so I could affect it so I'm gonna take exposure down just a little bit it was a little once I warmed up the entire picture it just seemed to get a little too bright but that again is your own personal preference of what you like to do so to me this shot is done there's a before and there's after before after I'm hitting the backslash key to get that you could also hit the Y key you can see the before and after side by side all right, this last one's just kind of a, an effect. It's not so much um, a sun flare like you would do in a lifestyle or wedding shot. It's just a lot of times you see these kind of surreal shots where you have the glowing at the end of the path. And I'm going to show you how to do that. And you pretty much do that the same exact way. So we're going to take the radio filter. Um, we're going to leave the exposure up like this. And remember, I'm going to, uh, right off the bat, I'm going to click the invert masks. All right? And we're going to make right here just kind of a pretty much a perfect circle it's kind of an egg shape let's say okay and um, I'm gonna warm it way up like crazy way crazy high up like that and then I'm gonna bring exposure kinda crazy high again and you could you know really feather it you know mess with it like that I'm gonna um, bring kinda clarity way down like, like that 
You could bring saturation up, although I typically don't mess with saturation when I mess with these, but you could. It's your, like I mentioned it for about 10 times already, it's your own personal taste. So I want to make this glow at that end of that path. And, um, you know, kind of, I don't know, surreal looking shot. And then um, for the overall shot now, I want to make it all kind of dreamy looking. So I'm going to um, go to clarity, and I'll pull clarity down. Now this is affecting the entire shot. I'm in the basic panel. So I'm going to turn clarity down. And so this is one of those things you could do. You've seen this, I'm sure, you know, we're photographers at the end of a path, they'll have like this glowing orb, and that's how you would do that. And that's it, that's how you would add a sun flare to an image. So I hope that helped. If you guys have any questions, um, you leave it in the comments, but I have a lot of videos up, so I miss a lot of the comments, so I, I apologize for that. But if you have a burning question that I didn't answer in the comments, um, feel free to email me at Tony at AnthonyMorganti.com. Again, if you guys have any suggestions on videos you'd like to see, email me and I'll see what I could do. All right, again, uh, thank you very much. I really appreciate everyone watching my videos. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you guys soon.